Turn side out of bounds. Three quarter court or half court. Say it's three quarter court. We call it slash. Slash. And it's really more of a preference as a coach. You know your team better than me. I would say on our team, our foreman, who's our foreman? Stand right here. Guy has good hands, good passer, big target, right? Our point guard or the guy we want to shoot the free throws, we're going to start him right here. Notice three-quarter court, that's our basket right here. This is, this is our basket, okay? It's called slash, side out of bounds right here. And let's go four-man right here, or I'm sorry, three-man and five. Or matter of fact, I, I violated my own code. Three always takes it out, right? So this would be two and this would be five. Yep. Now I'll tell you this, you guys face the point guard. This is not an absolute I would say that this person right here has to be a big target who's got good hands and can pass. That may be more than three for you, I don't know, okay? This has to be the point guard, and I would say that you'd want your five man for sure to be here. So the inbounder, this guy right here, and the first screener on slash can be interchangeable. I'll let you figure it out. Just so you can write it down, one, two, five, three's the inbounder, and four's just here acting like he's not paying attention. So here's the situation. We're up one or two points. There's eight seconds to go in the game. We do this with 10 or fewer. 10 or fewer seconds, okay? You know the defense. You're up one. They're saying five-second count or steal. We have a chance to win. As soon as they get the ball in, foul, right? That's the situation. It's also that sick feeling you have as a coach once in a while. So I go back to attacking pressure. Don't just be satisfied with inbounding it. Can you hit them with something that really works to the offense's advantage? So this is what Slash is all about. This guy right here has to have an act. You know, it's like you're not paying attention, like the plays for the point guard. Look at these two guys. They're lined up. Put your, put your uh, hands on your knees. Like everybody knows the coach is trying to get the point guard the ball, right? And here's what happens. I'm just right here. As soon as you cut... And as soon as he hits the first screen, finish your cut. The play's for you. Go ahead. You're then just going to post up, and you're going to come big. You're going to throw a rocket pass to me, all right? And think about this. You'll probably be guarding me. So you're like, I'm not paying attention either of you, right? So like, kind of like this. I'm just watching. Go ahead, back. I'm just watching this guy right here. Like, the play's for me. Here it is. You know, I'm watching. I just turn. Bang. Now, as soon as that happens, AJ, you're gone. And here's the pass. Don't throw it to AJ. Throw it to the basket. All right? Now, I want you to think about this. We've gotten this two times over the last couple years. What is the coach on defense telling these two defenders? Think about the situation. The defense is down one, under 10 seconds to go in the game. Got to get a steal or five seconds. You know they're switching, right? They have to switch. Switch every screen. We always say it. And again, as soon as he hits them and I go to switch and his man goes, the ball went the wrong way, boom. And I just go. Now, here's where it screws up. We ran it one time. He threw it to me, threw it to me, threw it to me, and I was on a run. The ball went out of bounds. We almost lost. Okay? But as we try to attack, to score, we're trying to take a game from up one, eight seconds. Can we get of ourselves a chance to be up three with six seconds? Like, it's going to be a dunk. It's just a matter of good pass. Don't throw it to the person. Throw it to the basket. If you just let it bounce, there's only one person going to get it, him. 